The Creel House is a major location that's explored in Stranger Things Season 4. Here's the Creel House and Vecna's connection to it explained. What are you? The Creel House, Stranger Things Season 4's most significant location, features a dark backstory and clear ties to the main villain Vecna. Here are those connections explained. Victor, did he miss me? Stranger Things Season 4 picks up directly after the events of the Season 3 finale. Mike and the rest of his friends remain in Hawkins, sans the Byers family and Eleven, while Hopper is stuck in a Russian prison that's forcing their prisoners to fight a Demogorgon. The atmosphere evoked by the Creel House is highly reminiscent of Mike Flanagan's The Haunting of Hill House. Flashbacks show the home in a much more picturesque state as the Creel family move in 1959. The family of four includes Victor Virginia, Alice, and Henry. Things obviously don't go well for the Creels, as their story tragically ends in a double homicide, with Victor being blamed for the murders and Henry put under Dr. Brenner's care. In Stranger Things Season 4, Robin, Nancy, Lucas, Dustin, Max, and Steve break into the creepy Creel house, searching for clues about Vecna and how the house has been related to a string of recent visions. Maybe he's like a clockmaker or something? The Creel House has a major connection with Vecna and the Upside Down, which is finally revealed in the Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1 finale. The Creel House is Vecna's HQ, as discovered by Dustin and the gang. The Creel House is Vecna's headquarters, with Vecna currently stationed in the Upside Down's version of the house. They make this discovery after briefly speaking to Victor Creel, Henry Vecna's dad, who was wrongly accused of killing his family. Dustin, Max, Lucas, Steve, Nancy, and Robin investigate the Creel House in Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 5, Chapter 5, The Nina Project. They find flickering lights in the home, and they're able to track Vecna's movements in the Upside Down. Just because he's camped out there, though, it doesn't mean that Vecna is limited to that location. In fact, Vecna could be anywhere in the Upside Down, as seen in the Stranger Things mid-season finale. It appears as though Vecna follows Nancy, Steve, Robin, and Eddie to the latter's house when the gang tries to find their way out of the Upside Down. Does anyone know Morse code? This leads to Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1's cliffhanger ending, in which Vecna has captured Nancy by putting her in some sort of trance. He also can communicate with others in the regular dimension from the Upside Down, which is shown throughout the season. Henry Creel 001 is Vecna and grew up in the Creel House, the Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 finale ended with a major reveal, Vecna is Henry Creel in the first child Hawkins lab experimented on. After helping Eleven escape Hawkins lab, Henry tells her to remain in a room and not come out until he gives her the go-ahead. She hears some troubling sounds and decides to leave her secure location. It's at that point she finds out that Henry has murdered everyone in Hawkins lab. He then goes into a very detailed backstory that explains how exactly number one Henry Creel turned into the monster he is today. Henry Creel had powers from the moment he was born, and not once did he use them for good. Tired of the world and its myriad of rules, Henry killed his mother and sister, but his father was blamed for their deaths. After using too much energy to kill his family, Henry fell into a coma and then went into Dr. Brenner's care. That's how he became test subject number one for Hawkins Lab, and there he stayed. Eleven overpowered him after the massacre, banishing him to the Upside Down, completing his journey to becoming the Dungeons & Dragons-inspired Vecna. Interestingly, Victor Creel emerges as a seminal figure in Stranger Things Season 4, as he leads Nancy and the rest of the group to investigate the house further. Nancy and Robin found Creel as a patient imprisoned at Penhurst Mental Hospital for the gruesome murder he didn't commit in the 1950s, with the Creel patriarch deemed insane for his belief that a demon killed his family. While it is unclear whether Victor Creel will have a greater role to play as the season unfolds, Creel House will undoubtedly continue to be a place of utmost importance heading into Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2.